Okay, so here we are. We got the 2.4 um, Ecotech engine on my sky base, and I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to be changing the injectors to a um, little bit larger injectors for uh, obviously more, a little more power, and then it's going to get tuned as well. But just looking at everything, it looks like I have to disconnect the fuel line, which is right here. Then there's a couple of bolts here holding the fuel rail in there, and then there's these pipes here, or these uh, wires here, hose and wires. I got to kind of pull off looks like they're just stuck on with these little um, push tab things so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen all this up get this all apart and uh, pull the injectors out okay first thing we gotta do is we gotta get rid of some of the pressure of the fuel so you just turn this little cap I can see your hand though. Oh, yeah. turn this cap and then this is kind of like a tire pressure thing Oop, and then the fuel comes out so I need a rag there we go and just wipe that up so you don't blow yourself up let me hit it again okay doesn't want to push down there we go okay so all the pressure is out of the fuel line so we're good there this hose to get it out of the way actually I might just be able to Take it off on this side, maybe. Uh, I'll have to do it this one. This is the PCV valve here. Oh. Wow, what a pain. There we go. Alright, that at least gets us out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to undo these two bolts down here. I'm just going to loosen them for now. Make sure I got the right one. And then try to pull these hoses out. And I'm not a big fan of these things, but actually, that came out pretty easy. And of course, one does and one doesn't. So, except for these, this one here, this cable here has the wiring, it's still connected. And I guess I can try to push those out as well. Actually, I need some needle nose. Everything's loose from the um, fuel line. I was going to disconnect the fuel line, 
uh, but I kind of changed my mind. I'm just going to see if I can just lift the injectors out off the um, the fuel rail and then uh, just change them while it's still all connected. So I'm just going to go ahead and loosen these bolts the rest of the way. Hopefully, it'll just pull out easily. Here we go. Oh, there's always so much stuff in the way. All right, and there's the injectors. You know what? I might... Okay, actually I'm gonna go and leave this fuel rail on here. It's gonna be more hassle than it's worth, so... Plus I don't have the tool. You need a special tool to get that off of there. But what I need to do is take these ends off and then we're going to put them on the new injectors and then undo these clips, undo the wiring, put the new injectors on and um, actually I'm going to take these off, put them in the, uh, the, uh, the intake and then I'm going to um, do the clips and everything like that. So let me go and these should just pop right off, hopefully, maybe. Maybe not. You know what? I might do it from the other side. All right, actually, yeah, these do actually just pop right off. So you can get it, and you just kind of, kind of tug at them. Something can be difficult. I got fuel coming on my hand. Right, let me just try this one. You know what? Maybe what I'll do is I'll undo these clips first. Oh. Uh, give me a tile. Okay, so I have three of the four injectors uh, disconnected. I just wanted to show you. Just want to show you that it's a little bit took me a little bit of time to figure out, but it ends up being kind of easy. Um, taking out this uh, plug. Okay. okay, so here's the plug, and there's this little white tab in here. Just kind of pull it up, and it'll pull down to pull it up a little bit, and then you just push this little black piece here, right here. Push that down, and then the plug comes right out. Okay, first thing you want to do is take the clip off here. Sometimes it can be difficult, especially with this thing in the way. Uh, let me go the other way with it. There we go. Okay, take that clip off. And there's probably going to be fuel coming out of here. Nope, oh, it's coming out this other side already. And I've already taken three of them off, so hopefully there's not much fuel left in this stupid thing. But it's probably going to have some. And you just got to kind of wedge it out of here. Like so. Like I said, you're going to get some fuel coming out of there. So just put down a towel or something to help you there. And then 
push this white thing up so it slides back. Push on this tab, and the ejector comes out. All right, we actually have to take these, um, this end off here, and we're going to put it on the new injector. So they kind of can be difficult. They just kind of pop right off. So we're going to save these. There. Actually, I take that back. I'm actually going to put it in the engine and then push the new injectors inside to seat them. Okay, this is the cap that goes on the injector, and this is we're going to put four of these in the actual intake manifold. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of put some silicone WD-40 on the uh, uh, rubber piece here, this little gasket, just to kind of make it easier to put inside there. So I'm going to do this all four and go ahead and install them. Okay, here's the cap that I'm going to go ahead and put it inside the intake manifold here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. And kind of mm -hmm. seat it in there all the way. And you can kind of zoom in like that. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do that with the other three. Okay, here we have the new injectors, and what we have to do is put a little bit of oil on that blue and um, black. Uh, little rubber seals there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we're going to start installing them in the uh, in the car. Let's pour a little bit in here just so I can stick my finger in there. So just lubricate the seals to seal them up a little bit better. All right, I got the one injector installed. I'm gonna go ahead and do another one, show you how it's done. Just kind of pushes in there, and then there's these little slots, and then our metal kind of bracket thing here and you just sort of slide in there in that slot easier said than done there we go and it's in there so I'm going to go ahead and do the other two. Okay, what i got to do now is go and connect the, uh, the plugs to each of the injectors. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and plug the uh, injectors into the plug here. Oh, wait, let me see something. How the heck do they go? Oh, they go this way. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and plug the injectors in. Like that. Like that. Okay, so I got all of the injectors plugged in. So now, let's see if I can wedge this in here to get them into the holes. So all the stuff's in the way. Yeah. Alright, I 
I think we're in. All right, got the injector in, or the uh, injector's rail, fuel rail in. So I'm just gonna screw down these bolts again. Put these plugs all back in again. Hopefully. <laughs> 